Yes, uh, very lucky today to be and privileged to be joined uh, by one of the superstars of the world game. Kevin Peterson joins us, captain of uh, the Delhi Daredevils, joining us uh, from uh, Delhi. Where else? Just to look ahead to this IPL season. Thank you very much for sparing the time, uh, Kevin. It's a real privilege to have you on. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Just uh, uh, have allowed a lot of fans on uh, on the ESPN Quick Info as well as the Delhi Daredevils Twitter handle to come in with your questions over what we expect to be a free-flowing conversation. Just uh, thoughts, first thoughts, back in Delhi, uh, your retail and your captain. Oh, yeah, it's an exciting opportunity. Um, it's obviously a new chapter in my career, um, one I'm really looking forward to. Um, one where hopefully we can have a really good time um, here in Delhi and just enjoying cricket, um, creating an environment where everybody uh, performs to the best of their abilities, um, is happy playing um, and goes out there and just functions uh, functions the way that they can and, and, and they know that they've been picked up by Delhi because we know uh, they can all win games of cricket here in the IPL. So. Um, yeah, they've got to do it in their own individual way, uh, and we've all got to perform together as a team, uh, enjoy ourselves. It's quite a nice uh, opportunity to spend eight or so days before the first game in Dubai. So we've had some fun bonding sessions uh, over the last couple of days, and the next six days are pretty important too. Uh, can I ask you, before I actually let our users' questions come in, uh, can I ask you about Kevin Peterson? Uh, it's been a while since you've played a competitive cricket match, uh, January, if I'm not mistaken that test match in, uh, in Sydney. So what's it like? The juices are flowing. Are you a little bit nervous uh, restarting playing the game in the middle of all this uh, sort of excitement, 50,000 people at a stadium and all that? Not at all. I've done it for 10 years. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm nervous at all. I'm excited. It's, uh, it's something that gets uh, my juices flowing to play in front of full houses, to play uh, in front of people um, and, and to go out there and, and perform to the best of uh, our, our capabilities is something that's actually really exciting. Um, nerves are a natural uh, uh, process, so obviously waiting to bat, etc., and, and, and doing bits and pieces, there'll be nerves, yeah, but I think that's fine uh, and it's a, it's a natural process as I said, but goodness, uh, no, I'm not nervous about starting to play cricket again. I'm absolutely buzzing with excitement. Can I ask you, uh, Kevin, uh, about, you know, uh, and we have to make the mention here that there is a confidentiality agreement that you've signed with the ECB, so as a result we can't uh, be talking about specific issues of England, but some doors have shut, but others have opened up. For instance, you are now going to be playing a full season of the IPL for the first time. Uh, every time in the past you've come and you've had to go. Yeah, I mean, as I said, uh, buzzing with excitement. It's, 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 a, it's a new chapter. It's something I'm really looking forward to. Um, I think I've got a lot of knowledge in the game. There's a lot of knowledge in our dressing room. Um, and we want to go out there and, and, and have a really good tournament. Uh, Gary and I sing off a very similar hymn sheet. Um, it's an absolute privilege to work with Gary. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a really enjoyable time. Um, and nothing guarantees success, and nothing guarantees failure. So some, that's, so, so some things guarantee failure, but nothing guarantees success. So we'll be doing whatever we can to uh, to prepare ourselves in the right way in order to have a fun competition and a competition where we go out there and and, and get results. Okay, can I get some of our users into these uh, into this conversation? Now this question, Katie, is from uh, Harun Mohammed. What is your favorite batting position in T20 cricket, and would it be opening the batting? so that you can get the whole entire 20 overs to bat or look at batting at number three? Uh, yeah, I don't mind batting in the top two, three, four in T20 cricket. I'm a, strong, a firm believer that your best players have to face the most number of balls. Um, so you only get 120 balls in a T20 fixture and I reckon you need your best players facing the majority of those balls. So yeah, anywhere in the top three or four, we've got some fantastic players in our dressing room. So uh, yeah, we want to get uh, the, the right combinations and uh, we want to, uh, our best players facing most of the deliveries for sure. What about this entire captaincy business? You know, uh, you've done this before with the Royal Challengers Bangalore. You've been England captain as well. Uh, but this time, uh, does it feel a little bit different? Because I remember the last time you said, when you handed over the captaincy, you said, you know, you're not quite sure about the Indian players and an Indian captain knew that better. Has your mindset changed towards captaining an Indian IPL franchise? I think my mindset's changed a hell of a lot. Um, I think when I was thrust into the captaincy uh, for England, um, 
it was very difficult at that stage. Um, I hadn't been through a load of different processes. Uh, I have, I've had a load of ups and downs since then. And only when you uh, when you reach uh, when you reach good heights and you reach uh, reasonably low lows do you start to understand everybody and understand everything. I think when you have family, you understand families. When you have kids, you understand kids. When you have disappointments, you understand disappointments. So then you can relate to everybody. Um, when I took over the captaincy for England, I certainly hadn't experienced a lot of those things. So for me, uh, understanding people, uh, man managing people, um, and getting to grips with, uh, with, with how everybody's feeling over this six to eight week period is, is vitally important in terms of making sure that everyone uh, is, in ha is happy. We're all uh, uh, fighting for one um, result. Um, and that comes with all the players and, and the coaches and the backroom staff all, all buying in together. Um, and as I said, the last 24 hours, 48 hours with all these guys, it's been fascinating to see how, how, how interested in terms of that, that one goal that we want to achieve uh, comes from everybody. I don't know if you've played 100 test matches or you haven't played a test match. So we can all learn from each other uh, and we can all basically have a, have a really good time if we, uh, if we all buy it, we've all bought in. Okay, more questions and obviously Kevin Peterson, the batsman is what the world is missing. So there's one coming in from Saurabh uh, and he's asking, is there a surprise up your sleeve for this year's IPL? Maybe a newly invented shot. Might as well ask another one, which has come from Murli Mohan on the similar, on similar lines. At what point of a bowler's delivery style do you change grips for a switch hit? You know, everyone's into this, Kevin, you've got to start playing these shots. <laughs> yeah, well, I've spent four months at the game. Um, I've, I've been training for the last uh, two to three weeks, um, just getting myself in good nick. Um, so, I mean, goodness me, I think the key to playing successful cricket and, and, and being good and, and achieving good things is keeping things very simple. Yes, obviously flamboyant shots and all those come. Um, I can't say that I, um, I won't be playing anything uh, flamboyant, um, but reading the situation of the game, identifying situations, uh, reading fields, where people, where captains uh, put their uh, put their fielders. Um, I think all that comes into it. Will I be playing any new shots this IPL? Absolutely not. So sorry to disappoint. Oh, oh well. <laughs> you know, as long as you play the switch hit, we'll uh, you know there'll be a lot of people watching. As long, as long as the switch hit comes off, not playing it, because if you get out, you look like a total fool. Yes, but you know that you're among the few people in the world who play it. Okay, let me ask you: the Delhi Daredevils themselves. Ah, uh, you know, it's a it's a very it's a very eagerly followed franchise. has a has a great amount of support when you go to the court line, It's always full, but it's an up and down franchise. Last year was terrible. The year before that was good, and you know this. Uh, you never won the IPL. How aware are you are you of this desperation among fans for the Daredevils to make a final to win an IPL? Yeah, look. I I can't answer that question. I didn't play last year. Uh, I certainly played the year before, and I didn't play before that. Um, you, all you've got to do is, is is the right process in terms of uh, a load of individuals coming together from all different parts of the world, cultural differences, uh, 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 domestic differences, international differences. You've got all differences that come in. So you've got to manage players in a way where everybody can play the way that they play because they were selected to come into this environment because they're good enough players to win games for the Delhi Daredevils. So as long as we create some sort of an environment where um, guys can uh, express themselves the way they want to express themselves, um, always wanting to improve as well uh, and be better players and waking up hungrier for success and hungrier for improvement. That's all we can ask for. Results will then hopefully take care of themselves. Um, but in terms of the way the Delhi franchise has been up and down, I've got no answers for it. Um, all we can do as human beings is try our best um, and I know it's easy to just say, yeah, I tried my best, but uh, you can see in training, you can see how the way guys prepare, you can see how the way guys are in dressing rooms, whether they're actually doing their best. And uh, I think Gary uh, and, the, and, the, and the management um, want to try and drive um, this campaign towards players waking up every day really hungry to get better, um, to improve, and also to help others. Just another question that I'm picking up from our uh, Twitter page. It's about the loss of a daredevil icon in uh, Virendra Sehwag. He was uh, the, the franchise chose not to retain him. 
also uh, not uh, going after David Warner. So those are two big roles to fill at the top of the order table. Uh, absolutely, yeah, fantastic cricketers. Um, uh, the players didn't have anything to do with uh, the decision making. Um, we were all waiting uh, anxiously, like everybody else, to see where we were going because because uh, Delhi didn't retain anybody before. Um, so yeah, I, I love uh, the way Verinda plays his cricket. I, he's a good mate of mine, um, and I also saw that he got runs the other day for the MCC, and I, and I believe that he's been playing some very good domestic cricket. So. Whenever Verinda Sewag is playing well, uh, he's fascinating to watch. He's uh, he's one of those players that, if he's batting, I definitely turn the TV on. Okay, more questions that are uh, coming in now. They're coming in thick and fast, uh, as you would expect, Kevin. Uh, the other question that I had was about the fast bowling. There is a Delhi concern, Delhi Daredevils fan, Anam Jumani, asking, don't you think the Daredevils lack an international quality fast bowler? Look, I think we've got a squad where we've got a lot of very, very experienced Indian players. Um, and your internationals are not always going to win your fixtures. I think if you've got real strong international players and you've got weakish uh, Indians, it's very hard because the internationals are not always going to win you the game. I think we've got a blend of youth, we've got a blend of experience, we've got some older guys, we've got some younger guys. And I think uh, the way the auction went has actually been very good for us because um, we've got guys who... Um, can win us games uh, and will win us games um, when the internationals don't um, don't uh, don't win the games. So no, I'm very excited about what we've got. Um, so yeah, no, I don't agree that we don't have uh, uh, winners in our team. And of course, the first bit of this competition is in uh, the Middle East, where there are three venues where you played uh, extensively in the past. Yep. Just uh, thoughts on that, Kevin, because there are some questions coming in about that as well, about how uh, important it is to get off to a good start in the Middle East uh, in the early bit of the tournament, and uh, how you will, as captain, make sure that that experience you have of playing there comes in handy. Sure. It's a, there's a few of our players that have played out in the Middle East, so it's not just me as captain. Uh, quite a few of the players have played out in the Middle East. Um, so quite a few of the players have got a lot of experience playing out there. I don't think the conditions are too dissimilar to uh, to India, having played uh, quite a bit there. Um, certainly, yes, you want to get off to a great start, but it's not always the person who runs the quickest uh, mile of a marathon that wins the marathon. So for us, it's a case of, uh, of gelling well as a team. Um, and making sure that we get together and we start start on the right track, we keep improving. Um, we want to obviously win every game, the same as every franchise wants to win every game. We want to win the semi-final and you want to win the, win the final. There's no point getting to the semi-finals and losing in the semi-finals. You want to finish the race well. The race starts next Thursday in Dubai, sure, so we want to do well in Dubai. So we'll be doing everything we can do to do well in Dubai. If that doesn't happen, we certainly need to turn a corner and make sure it happens in India. But say the last 10 days, two weeks of the tournament, key for every team. Uh, last few minutes left with Kevin Peterson, so keep bringing those uh, questions in. Obviously a question uh, that uh, came in was about Gary Carlson. I know you alluded to it uh, earlier. and. There was a lot of media reporting about how uh, he may have refused the England job because he didn't have the choice to pick him. So there you are, working together as uh, uh, Ke Kevin Peterson and Gary Carlson, captain and coach of Delhi Daredevils. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before. No comment. Yeah, but working with Kevin, uh, working with uh, Gary Carlson, that's got to be a relationship that you will enjoy because he's someone you've admired for many years. Look, he's one of those. He's probably uh, rated number one coach in the world at the moment. Um, I think. Uh, Delhi are very, very fortunate to have Gary. Uh, all of us having spent uh, 24, 48 hours with him over the last couple of days are so excited to work for him. He's got that personality that makes you want to really be su successful for him and for the franchise. Um, he makes you feel happy about yourself. Um, he, he, uh, he really encourages you to do well and just the persona that he's got um, just fills you with confidence, and you know that he's not talking. Uh, he's not talking for the sake of talking. When he talks, he means it, and everything that comes out of his mouth makes sense. Um, and so it's been uh, it's been a fantastic last couple of days. Uh, I know all the boys really enjoyed working with him, and will continue to do so. So, yeah, for us to have uh, who's ra probably rated the number one coach in the world at the moment is uh, is a very exciting time, and we're all very lucky. One more from Peter Edward, uh, and uh, I'm guessing he's based in the UK. This question is, how uh, based is your game on guessing the actions of the bowler? Or are you literally always playing on instinct? I guess 
everyone in the world wants to know out there, uh, Kevin, is how you pull off the kind of innings that you pull off when you're in your uh, when, uh, when, in, when you're at your peak. Yeah, I think in T20 cricket you have to predetermine quite a bit. Uh, you have to probably have uh, option A and option option B. Uh, in Test match cricket, not so much because there's there's plenty of time knocking about. I also think the key to batting in T20 cricket is getting yourself in. You can't spend a session getting yourself in. You've got to spend obviously less time getting yourself in. So there's the skill attached to that too. Um, but yeah, it's also identifying situation and also preparing well. I think you've got to know who your opposition are and you've got to know where your strengths are. Play to your strengths and keep things simple. Um, and that's all I do. I've got my strengths. I keep things very simple. I don't try and score in you know, 360 degrees around the wicket. I've got key areas which I try and score in. And more often than not, you definitely, while you're batting, always, if you get yourself in, uh, get balls to strike in. So, yeah, everybody says there's only 120 balls, but that's a lot of cricket. We've got just a couple of minutes now left. I, I need to ask you this about just the IPL in general. There's an atmosphere, there's a thought process around the IPL that it's facing a bit of a credibility crisis. After all the incidents that happened last year, very well documented, uh, the arrests and, and things of that nature. I don't want you to talk about the specifics of that because uh, you're, not, you're not directly involved with any of it. But just on the outside, how important is it for the tournament to send out the message that it's a credible cricket tournament, that it's played uh, hard and it's uh, played completely fair and there's not, not any dishonesty within it? Look, oh, I can only speak from myself. Um, and I hope I can speak for a lot of players in saying that we play the game because we love this game. We wake up in the morning, we love cricket. We go to bed at night, we love cricket. If we're playing badly, we don't love it as much, but when you play well, I mean, it gives you some incredible highs. Um, it gives you incredible lows too. So you've got to accept that you can't always have good days, so you're going to have bad days. But when you when you have those good days, um, they, they are fantastic. And we don't want those uh, those good days, all those bad days, affected by by bad eggs. Um, and so, when you're in that position, you just go out there and you play to the best of your ability, and you just hope that uh, that people aren't uh, on putting a black line through 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 days that you spend um, really enjoying yourself and having fun. And, uh, I certainly love playing cricket. Uh, it's it's something that really excites me. I'm buzzing to get back onto the cricket field. Um, anything that happens in terms of all the nonsense away from the field, we can't uh, we can't um, go into that or, or get involved in that. It's not it's not our business. But we've just got to be honest with ourselves, honest with each other, and give of our best. And that's all we can do. Yes, and those are very reassuring words. I can tell you, Kevin, because there's a lot of uh, debate here in India about whether uh, or, you know whether the tournament itself is worth following. And hearing that from a legend such as you is uh, is important for the fans. One final thought, how important will this year's IPL be for your cricket future, asks Karezi. And there's a few crazy uh, Twitter handles that come in, so excuse that. Uh, look, it's just an exciting uh, start. Um, I've obviously uh, loved playing cricket, but I didn't enjoy playing cricket, and I thought that my time was up when, uh, when, when things happened in January. Then I wouldn't have continued, but um, I love playing cricket. I'm still hopeful of uh, playing cricket for England again one day. Um, and so I'm going to do everything I can to uh, to play to the best of my ability for the team, all the teams that I play for, uh, and enjoy cricket. Um, it's T20 competitions. Uh, there's, uh, there's playing for Surrey, playing in the Caribbean. I, I I I want to continue playing a lot of cricket because I love the game and I want to give back uh, to 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 dressing rooms around the world with all the knowledge that I've acquired. It's, it's it's fascinating to spend time like in the last couple of days with lots of youngsters here in the, in our dressing room, just talking cricket, learning from them because you never stop learning. It doesn't matter how many games you've played, you never stop learning. So it's um it's such an exciting time. I'm really really excited about what's uh, what it is going forward. And you know, as you would expect, before we wrap up, there is a question that has to do with Bollywood because. Uh, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, while you're in India, that people will want to know about your interest. And now that you're spending a whole summer here, are you uh, going to be watching a Bollywood movie? Asks Princhi Gupta. Um, if it's in English, potentially. Oh, no, okay. okay. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. <laughs> I, struggle, I struggle with Hindi. There's some, there's some interesting characters in our dressing room which use some Hindi words, which I probably shouldn't... Uh, um, project over an international forum, um, 
So yeah, no, I'd uh, I'd struggle in Hindi watching a full uh, Bollywood uh, movie, but yeah, I mean it's it's fascinating to see uh, how how gripped the country gets with Bollywood and and, and with cricket. Um, you see things and you hear things, um, and it's it's a fascinating experience being here. Uh, the two sort of uh, entertainment worlds here um, come together, and it's 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 great to be a part of. And look, the next six seven weeks is going to be exciting. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's there for all of us to look forward to, and we just hope that we have a great campaign. Yes, sir. we're not going to keep you much longer. Hopefully, we can do this again as the tournament progresses. Uh, and also, of course, uh, Chelsea is in the semi-finals of uh, the Champions League. So, Kevin Peterson's a happy, happy these days. At the moment, all's good, yes. Yeah, I mean, but uh, look, uh, it, it can, all get, uh, it can go, all get a little bit messy if we go out in the semi-finals and we don't manage to beat Liverpool away. You know, you've got the Delhi Bear Devils to worry about. <laughs> Thank Please. you very much, uh, Kevin, for sparing the time talking to ESPN Click Info worldwide audience, and it was an absolute pleasure to have you uh, uh, talk to us. Hopefully, uh, through the tournament, we can grab you a couple of times. Sure, sure, no problem. Yep, look forward to it, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to uh, Kevin Peterson, Delhi Daredevils captain, back uh, in the hot seat for uh, IPL 7, which uh, starts next week, of course in the Middle East. Thank you very much. If, you, if you've been watching on the excerpts from this conversation with Bob, Kevin will be on ESPN Click Info very soon. Thank you.